You know, I'm uh, really grateful. I want to thank the fans uh, for supporting me. Uh, you know, um, some of those votes were uh, two two hundred thousand at least. From those votes, they were for my fam, for my family. <laughs> so uh, was that a big deal? But now we got to get Chris and Bledsoe uh, involved. We got to get them in. Uh, but yeah, I'm really grateful for this opportunity. I know last year there was a concern that not enough people were spelling your name right. Is that yeah. still a concern? I don't know if it's still a concern because a lot of people voted my name and spelled it right. So I, I think, uh, you know, moving forward and day by day people are doing a better job spelling my name and uh, pronouncing it too. So you go from last year, your first All-Star game, to possibly becoming a captain with the new format. How cool is that that you might get an opportunity to pick your team and, and draft your team? Oh, it's, it's really cool. Uh, it's really cool. As I said, I'm really grateful. Uh, hopefully, we are, you know, Chris and uh, Bledsoe can be uh, a part of it, and uh, I'm going to be able to, like, you know, vote my teammate into the, you know, into the game. And because without without of them, I wouldn't, you know, be in this situation, you know, to make the game easier for me. Uh, but as you said, it's pretty cool. Have you given much thought of who you'd take first overall if you had the chance? So. Uh, First of all, you know, if my teammates are available, I'm going with my teammate. Uh, but if not, you know, I gotta go. I gotta go with the, uh, gotta go with LeBron James, best player in the world. Uh, so we can have a good relation for the free agency. You never know, he might come play here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, for tonight's game. Four days ago, you guys faced the same team. I know Chris said you guys felt like it was a game you let slip away, it, and it's not just about getting paid back, but is it more about the psyche? And I mean, this is a team you guys have lost four in a row to. Is it something that you guys want to mentally get over that hump? Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's a team that we want to win tonight, and uh, we have to go. We have to go play hard and do whatever it takes to win. Uh, you know, I think the first game we did we play hard, we played together, but we wasn't able to get a win uh, down the stretch. But uh, I think, uh, you know, the team feels good, and we're going to go get this one tonight. What specifically about DeMar DeRozan made him so tough to defend the last time you guys played them? He, he just got he got in the sweet spots. <laughs> he got in the uh, sweet spots, and uh, you know he got in the sweet spot. He made a lot of threes. You know, uh, for a player like DeRozan, you gotta live with his with his threes. He made them obviously, and he got in the free throw line too.